find the value of the derivative if it exists at the indicated extremum. So an extremum is a maximum or a minimum. So they want the value of the derivative at the maximum or minimum of this function. If the answer does not exist, enter d and e. Okay, so we're basically supposed to use the graph. I mean, you could use the function, but it's way harder. So let's just look at the picture and see. So there's a minimum here, right, because you can tell that it's smaller than the points around it. So this is called a relative minimum because relative to the points around it, this y value is smaller. It also happens to be something called an absolute minimum because it's the smallest y value. So uh, an absolute minimum is the smallest y value and a relative minimum is a y value that is smaller than the points around it. Okay, we have to find the derivative at zero. So it actually tells us uh, where to look. So the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. So if you were to draw a line that is tangent, in other words, just touches, at this point, it would be a horizontal line. You would have a horizontal tangent line. And so because horizontal lines have a slope of zero and the derivative is the slope of the tangent line, the derivative is simply zero. So the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. That is the key idea uh, in, in differential calculus, which is mostly uh, calculus one. So the derivative is zero because you have a horizontal tangent line. That's it.